Hi, I'm Mulberry Sarah. We are going to cook sweet peppers today. I have not tried these before. I heard that they are really very sweet. Well, they look like tiny capsicums. And I'm slicing them up. So, they, are, they have seeds that are similar to the size of a capsicum seed. But of course, there's a lot less seeds. And they are, well, they are bigger than chilies, so I'm not quite sure how if I want to cut them all in half. Do you think if I cut them like that, I can remove the seed? Oh no, can't. Mm, oh, I still have to cut them. This one have even lesser seed than the previous one. I'm not sure how it works. I'll try again. It seems like I can't just cut off the head and pull out the seeds together, like how I can cut on the capsicum. So I guess I'll still have to rip them apart. Or slice them apart. Actually, they are quite expensive uh, as, co as compared to a capsicum, but if they taste good, I guess I will buy them again. I tasted some boss cutting and it's really very sweet so I, I suppose it will be really good in salads. Maybe I'll buy some of these for salads next time. But today I'm going to grill them in the oven. Okay, this is the last piece. I think I'll leave it like that. I'll not slice into half. Does it look better the non half ones? What's going to happen is that I will be putting them into the pan where I baked some bacon bits earlier and I'll use the bacon oil and I'll mix them like that instead of using olive oil because the pan is already greased. On normal days, olive oil is definitely the thing that I will use. But it just so happens that I have bacon today. And I'm going to grill this with bacon. Now let's arrange the pepper. I'm thinking to put the bacon bits into the pepper. So it will sit on the pepper. And bake again so the pepper will absorb the bacon goodness and it will be easier to pick up and eat rather than having to deal with little bits of bacon later on yep. I'll add some black pepper, just a little bit of black pepper. I'm going 
going to add some cheese here because cheese and bacon what a great combination I'll try to put them on the pepper because when they get all melty I want them to go right inside the pepper and fuse with the cheese oh that sounds so good to me right now Okay, I think this is about enough. Too much and the cheese will overflow. Let's get cooking. We'll put this into the oven. But I'm not sure how long to cook it for. Let's try 190 degrees. On the convection mode and maybe 15? 15 minutes. We are done. Let me get them out of the oven. And I can show you how they look like. Let's take a look. I really recommend that you buy some sweet pepper on your own and try cooking them because they are really very delicious. That's all for today. Bye bye. Please remember to like my video and subscribe to my channel.